I believe it 1000%. There are about 100 families that run the entire planet. And these people are extremely dark. They believe it's their right to rule over us. They believe that we're nothing but to be beneath them, that our, their boot is, we deserve to have their boot on our neck. Uh, and, uh, and, and it's not about money with them. It's all about the power and the control at the end of the day. Money to them means nothing because they can just print as much money as they possibly want. They can just add fake zeros and ones to an account and utilize it whenever they want. We proved this by sending millions of dollars to Ukraine. We just keep sending money. It's just bit digital. It's, it's numbers. It's like, you know, I mean, it's not even real money. It doesn't exist. And people are going, they're sending more money. No, they just sent more zeros and ones. <laughs> it's data, you know. So in that case, it's not about the money. It's about control. And I believe that we as the people on this planet, the biggest thing I have to keep saying, the divide and conquer tactics must fall away. We have to begin to see through them. I'm white, you're black, I'm indigenous, you're, you're from uh, Europe, Europe, you're European and, and all this crap. I'm, a, I, I'm, a, I'm the, a Democrat, you're a Republican. I'm Baptist, you're, you know, it, it just, it keeps going. Everything is divided. There's, there's no synergy, there's no unity. We have to come to the point, man, and be like, no, 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 no. We're not going to fall for this anymore. We're going to unite and we're going to organize. And we're going to take back control of our planet. And I think that's when we're going to see some of these higher beings that have been watching us step in. When they realize that, whoa, we're going from being adolescents to grownups. We're getting ready to become full-blown adults in our reality. That maybe there'll be a chance for them. Now they'll step in and give us some assistance. But until then... We're just like useless babies trying to still learn how to find our way. We haven't even taken a few steps yet. And I think that we have to come together. And the first hardest part is breaking through divide and conquer tactics. Yeah, I think there's obviously so much value in not being completely oblivious to the possibilities of, you know, uh, other agendas within a small group of families or elitists that are controlling narratives. But also at the same time, like you're speaking to, you have to and the divide and conquer consciousness within yourself first by becoming an energetically coherent individual, mm. you start to become the representation of the new earth, the new paradigm that's being birthed versus like Bucky Fuller would talk about how fighting the old systems are completely, you know, um, you make them obsolete by operating from that new paradigm and not fighting old ones with that same level of consciousness. And so, you know, I think that's like, that's actually an empowering frame around this because I used to like maybe 10 years ago really focus on like all the dark stuff that was <laughs> happening and people controlling and it yeah. takes, it, it makes you feel powerless in a lot of ways. But the reminder I think is really important to actually reclaim the power and, and become that change. Right. I, I, we all go through that same phase. It's a phase. It's yeah. part of the process. Yeah. You know, the breaking down and the building back up. I call it catastrophism. It's a made up word. Catastrophism. We all <laughs> go through that process. Like, oh man, it sucks. Everything is going down the tubes. We're, this is crazy. But in reality, it's like, okay, now, now that I've, now that I've gone through the suffering, now that I've shooken myself free of this, what can we do for solutions? And the solution is preach, divide and conquer. Don't fall for it. You get the right mindset. Understand that you are me and I am you. That's the old Mayan term, in la kek a la ken, I am another you. Understanding that we're all the same person, just different aspects of one another. And learn how to love one another, man, the right way, wholeheartedly, like truthfully, and be grateful for each other. Be truthfully grateful for all the, all the things that we have. And uh, that just raises the vibration. And, and I think that when that happens, man, we'll be able to communicate and network like we've never had before. We're in the age of information where we used to be bound by distance and, and invisible lines on the planet. But now with these technolo technological devices we have, we can communicate with anybody in any language at any given time of day.